Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last weekend I had the pleasure of going to the E-Revolution e-bike show in Denver, Colorado. It was amazing. Vendors from all over the world were there with their latest of models. And I had the pleasure to test ride a bunch of e-bikes. And today in this video, I'm going to be featuring four of those incredible e-bikes. Guys, the competition in the e-bike world between brands is ferocious. So I am seeing more and more e-bikes using hydraulic brakes instead of mechanical brakes, well-tuned motors for fast accelerations. I mean, like getting from zero to 20 miles an hour, in a lot of them, it only took seconds. They're also using like high quality cadence sensors. So they're a lot more responsive when you're pedaling. So it gets rid of that annoying lag that we all know. And I'm also seeing a lot more dual suspensions versus just front suspensions or no suspension at all. So today I'm going to be featuring the Stromer SD3, the Frisky Wildcat, the Cyrusher Ranger, and the Vituvia Antelope. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro! Okay, I'm on the Stromer ST3. Okay, this is the most high-end e-bike I've ever ridden. So, this is, a, it's a class three e-bike. And uh, so this is for, this is for commuting. This is for commuting. This is a total car replacement, guys. Like, okay, so it has a belt drive. The motor is completely silent. You don't hear anything other than like a little bit of gearing on the back. Um, this is a Swiss made brand and uh, it, it's so high end. You basically, instead of having a display, you basically have a computer that you can totally link with your cell phone and you have all your information there. Uh, it's a, it has a GPS tracker. You can locate it wherever. If you cannot locate it with your cell phone, you can call the corporation, your, the company where you buy it, Stromer, and they'll find it for you. Like, it has the most like top of the line, like high-end specs. And we're gonna go talk with the, with the Stromer representative because, wow. Hi, my name is Matty. I'm from Stromer Bikes. Uh, Stromer is a Swiss e-bike brand, uh, mostly known for its range because we have up to 110 miles of range on our bikes. Class 3, 28 miles an hour. Europe is full of Stromers. Everybody's riding them. A couple of things that we pride ourselves, as I said, is the range. Then the other one is the connectivity. So everything here in the bike is connected to your phone, for example. You walk away from your bike, it locks itself. You come next to the bike, it unlocks. If somebody steals your bike, you can uh, you can track the bike and it's basically unstealable this bike and then many wow. other features on this one and then the new thing with our with our newer models is the pinion gearbox so and then the belt drive so everything is changed here you switch the uh, shift your gears from here you don't need to pedal in order to do that and the nice thing about the pinion gearbox is the maintenance you don't really need to very high maintenance on it you basically do an oil change every couple of thousand miles and it's a really fun sweep. all right guys i'm in the frisky wildcat this is a 26 by 4. it's a step through so i may uh, i i love my 20 by 4s but you know, this is my first time trying a step through 26 by four, and it feels a lot more manageable than the, uh, than the step over 26 by four. You know, I, I'm tall, but I, I'm still intimidated by the, uh, by the, yeah, by the big bikes with the big step over frames. Now this is a dual suspension too, hydraulic disc brakes. It has a 750 watt, it's a Bafang motor. A uh, really nice color display. Guys, and this thing feels really powerful. So there's different ways that you can tune the motors. And um, oh, the, so this one, I, it's, it's tuned for the low end. So I don't know how the, how the top speed would be, but just like, you know, stopping and going, like this bike lurches you forward. It's amazing. Now, I really like the hand grips. They're, uh, they're the, the type that don't move. 
and they're like really nice and grippy uh this you know it, it feels like a high quality powerful bike logan hydraulic this brakes seven seven speeds five speeds shimano gears very nice very nice e-bike uh let's do a little top speed run here let me put it on five i mean we don't have a lot of straight away but let's woo -hoo -hoo. wow so so nice let's do one more one more lap this bike is really nice this is a 40 degree, degree incline over there but <laughs> i'm a little scared i already did it twice uh maybe we'll do it again with another with another eve okay i'm on your left thank you thank you Woohoo! so i'm not crazy about the the floor here it's pretty sleek so i kind of don't want to do any any stop big stop breaks or anything so let, let's test the, the, the throttle it's a it's a left thumb throttle Woohoo! brakes break very nice I love the white and the orange. So this is an all-terrain style e-bike, mountain bike. It has a 750 watt percent motor. And what I love about this guy is that it's a 52 volt battery instead of a 48 volt battery. So this is going to be more powerful, more powerful acceleration at speed. Now it has dual suspension, hydraulic brakes, Shimano gears, and it's a class three. So now I'm going to go out there and try it out and I'll tell you more about it. All right, so I'm on the Side Rusher Ranger now. And this is a 26 by 4 inch tire. And I'm used to the 20 by 4. So this is going to be, it doesn't feel as easy to maneuver. And um, even though it, is, it has a powerful Bafang 750 watt motor, it, does, it feels heavy to me. It feels heavy to maneuver. It feels heavy to turn. Uh, I was just riding the Frisky e-bike and that one had a 26 by 42 tire, but for some reason it, it just felt more maneuverable, like lighter on the steering. That, that's what I mean to say. But this was like really nice quality. Uh, another, this is another dual suspension, Logan hydraulic disc brakes. I keep seeing this Logan brakes a lot. Let's do a little bit of a top speed run here. Oh, 20. I got to 20 in a few seconds. This e-bike this e is a lot of fun, guys. It's just like, so they call the 26 by four inch tires. They call the, uh, the SUV of e-bikes. And that's because you can ride <clears throat> in all types of terrain and you can go over all kinds of obstacles because you have the massive, the massive wheels. Uh, I like how the motor engages while I'm pedaling. And, uh, and let's see, and it's, this is a twist throttle. Also the motor engages right away. Uh, super nice. It has five levels of pedal assist. It's pretty typical. I do, uh, I do recommend this bike. I don't know for like, but this is gonna be heavy. You're gonna need a rack if you're gonna need one to transfer it. So <laughs> might as well just go to wherever you need to go uh, on the e-bike. All right, I'm on the Vituvia Antelope. This is a step through folding e-bike, 20 by four. This is my favorite size wheels, guys, the 20 by four. It's, uh, it's very maneuverable. It's torquey because of the, uh, you know, that smaller wheelbase, smaller wheels. You're going to feel the power more than in a heavier, bigger bike. So this one has a front suspension and it's, it, oh my God, <laughs> okay. I, I, I pressed the pedals by accident while I was bouncing off of it. But anyways, 
750. Feels like a pretty peppy e-bike. It's comfortable. Uh, the seat can be more plush. It's it's not it's wide, but it's not it's a, it's on the stiff side. And uh, being a step through frame, this is going to be very approachable for people of all heights. And let me see, let's do some pedal assist. It takes like a second or two to kick in. Most cadence sensor e-bikes are going to be like that. You have a right thumb throttle. As you guys know, my preference is right twist throttles. But this is just, it's all about preference, guys. Uh, and this is because I have arthritis on my thumbs from being a massage therapist. But we're going to do, let's do throttle. One, two, three, go, throttle. So there's a little delay before the motor engages. But then you get to 20 miles an hour really fast. Uh, so we have hydraulic disc brakes, my, my favorite. We're going to do a brake test. Okay, and let's go fast, fast. 17 miles an hour and break. Oh, very satisfying engagement. Powerful Logan hydraulic disc brakes. I just keep seeing more and more of these guys. They do a fantastic job. Okay, now I'm at the Vitubia stand here at the, at the Denver Expo. And I'm gonna be checking out, so this is Chris. He's a, he's a manager here. What's the name of the, oh, the antelope. So yeah. this is the antelope. It's a gorgeous, like mint, light green color. Uh, the, the seat, it says it's a comfort saddle. We're about to try it, but it feels cushy and it feels wide. So this is a folding e-bike, 750 watt nominal, and it's at 1100. Yeah, like that. Picks at 1100. Logan hydraulic disc brakes and a very nice colorful display. And this is a class three, right, Chris? Yeah, class three. Okay. And there's a top speed can be up to Top speed is 28 miles yeah. an hour. Uh, Chris, can you tell us how long has Victoria been in the market? Uh, we've been here in the US from uh, 28, so like uh, five or six years. Five or six years, yeah. and then in the in the rest of the world, how long have you been? Uh, uh, two years before. Two years. Okay, so they, these guys have been around for a while. They know yeah. what they're doing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And we're talking about collaborating together. So I have a website where I sell uh, e-bikes and e-scooters, and my motto is to only sell products that I have tested before. So I'm about to try this out, and then I'll let you know about my riding experience. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah, no now, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me which my favorite out of this four was, and this is such a hard answer because I like them all. I had a blast writing all of them for different reasons. So you're like high, super high end, the Strummer ST3, an amazing commuter, powerful, smooth, the latest of the latest, technology, blah, blah, blah. But at $9,000, it's a really hard pill to swallow. One that really stood out for me that I'm sure it's gonna be an approachable price, hopefully under $2,000, uh, it's the Frisky Wildcat. This one's not out in the market yet, but it was powerful, comfortable, super approachable with a step through. I really, really like this e-bike. Now the Vituvia Antelope, this one just felt like another 20 by four, foldable, approachable uh, e-bike powerful hydraulic disc brakes good one too and then lastly the high rush high uh Cy rush ranger um this one felt like heavy not as approachable but really fun and powerful guys thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you very soon whatever you're doing happy riding <laughs>